Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking apart this Power Fist 212 motor. The guy that I bought it off of said that it had a blown crankshaft, so I'm going to be the one to see. First, I got to disconnect this gas hose to leak some of the gas out because there's still some in there. So I'll be right back when I get that done. Okay, we got the gas tank off. Draining the gas. I had to take off that piece right there just so I can get the, the hose under it without leaking too much. But this had a pretty good amount of gas in it, so it's gonna take a while. Okay, now that's drained. First, we're gonna take off the full start housing. As you can see, there's no play, so grab an eight mil and loosen it up. Okay, we got all the bolts off. Should be able to fire it. Forgot about all this. Okay, I need to disconnect this and then then it'll come off. One sec. Okay, we got all disconnected. And now we can pull it off. Wire that around. Just set this over here. Just gonna have to take off the stator. We already got them loose. Two bolts. Jesus Christ, why are these so damn long? No business being that long. Now, stator comes off, connect to the spark plug. Set all this in there. Just have to take this off, because that is annoying. It's 10 mil, we'll be right back, I'll take that off. And okay, also before I forget, I should, probably should have done this first. But I'm gonna take out the, to unplug the car. Drain it all right. And just miss it completely. Okay, it's all good as long as we get the last couple drops. Oh, oh. Just plug that right back up in there. Good enough. Take it off now. It's got the carb off. Don't spill. Okay, now we're gonna be taking off the flywheel. Should be pretty easy that I have a blown one, but for you, you might have to like put a screwdriver in through like that. I'm just gonna flip the motor over and then just use the force on that. Be right back. Okay, no way in hell that's coming off, so I'm gonna come back another day. Okay, we're here the next day after work. I am not going to try to get this off yet. I'm going to try just taking off this and taking out all the internals. I might have to take out this, but... Oh my god. It's pretty bad. It's really tight at home. I don't really feel like doing it right now. Also, overnight, it, it leaks some uh, mystery juices. Kind of looks like oil. That's fire. It's all good. Like, where is it coming from? Bottom there? Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. We're gonna take off this. It looks like eight or 10 or something like that. But... Okay. Let's put this up like this. Okay, we got the cover off. It honestly doesn't look too bad in there. I haven't even taken a look inside. I'm really in shock. Okay. okay. I didn't mean to stop the camera, but uh, metal or that's plastic shape number one. There is a huge gouge. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there's writing on the inside too. What the hell? Let me turn the flash on one second. Okay, I found another little surprise back there. Let's see if I can fish it out with this. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh. Oh my god. I don't even know what that could be, but. 
looks like the piston is still intact. I don't know. Okay, I don't really know how to get this off. So I'm going to try taking off the head here. I don't know if I'm going to have to take this off. If I do, I'm going to have to borrow some of this impact because that is on there tight. These are like a 12 or 13 or something. 12. Okay, okay I'm going to... I got these loose, but I'm gonna take off this, and then I might have to take off this first too, like this whole bottom piece to get in there, but I'm gonna see first. Take off this eight mil, looks like. Frame reveal. Damn, that looked pretty good. I don't even know, but. This is what I need to adjust on the big bike too because the new exhaust makes it backfire like crazy. I'll put some flash in there one second. Okay, we just loosen these. Let me zoom out here a little bit. We just loosened this. Took these out like this. Maybe they're back in back there. So I don't know where, but I'll figure it out there. Don't really matter. But I just took them over there. I don't even know what they're called. Okay, it was a lot of work, but we got the head off and we're gonna do a reveal right now. Let's see. Mm, let's see, right? Looks like a little bit of metal shavings. Not too shabby. There's definitely. I mean, like, it doesn't look bad, actually. Okay, so it's not too bad. Still moves. Just a little bit of score. Right there. But it just honestly it just looks like it ran a little hot. Like, I don't know. I'm going to go back inside because I'm sweating like crazy. Can't deal with this heat, man. What is that? I just found something more down here. Uh oh, let's go. Come on, little guy. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to get this little filler out. Something metal. It's, it's hollow or something. Into the pile it goes. Yeah, I'm gonna take it more apart tomorrow because I am done. I will come back tomorrow. See y'all. Peace. It's the next day. I kind of already started taking off these these bolts I forgot to film but hey just pretend like it never happened you know it doesn't even matter I don't really know where I left off but that's the pile of goodies so far pretty good we're gonna we took off these bolts I'm gonna take this out tell you we're just gonna set that over here with everything else and then these looks like they slide out yeah I think these are what connect to the bowls and they push it oh I don't really know but these off to the side because I have no idea. And we're gonna try to pry this off next. There's a little bit of play there too, it's probably not good. But I'm gonna try prying that off with a screwdriver or something. I'm not too worried about it. Get an angle of that real quick. One sec. 
See if I can just do it like butter. We'll put that off to butter. Ooh. There is definitely a clearance issue or something. Let me focus. Out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got the piston out. Looks like there's a little bit of scoring. Doesn't look too bad though. The only thing was looks like there was something they got into there. Or it collided up here. Let me get off. It doesn't look like there's any scoring around the sides here. See in there a little bit. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. I haven't seen anything. I don't I don't even know what's that that's you. I don't even know what that's from really. Okay, I forgot to start filming again, but I got the bolt for the flywheel cover off. It only took one, one bent square screwdriver and a long torque wrench, but oh, that was probably not good for that. Oopsie. So we're gonna take off the bolt here. Take this stupid cover off. And I think you just get a screwdriver. Sorry for the fingers. I think you just get a screwdriver and ply it off. So that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully we don't bend another another maximum tool. There we go. We're gonna try taking you know, the cam out. Just gotta yank that John out of there. But I'm gonna clean it with some, the last little bit of carb cleaner I have. Get all that oil out. Try to make it look a little, a little cleaner. Okay, I got the inside with the last bit of my, the last little bit of carb cleaner. Outside's still a little dirty. I try to get as much as I could spray it on there. But I'm gonna go outside, spray with the hose. Let me come back inside and dry it. I'll be right back here. <laughs> okay, so damage report. These are all the pieces I found in the motor. Just a couple. Okay, now it's all dry and clean. And that's how you take a power, uh, power fist 212. Complete teardown. I'm gonna clean off the valves and stuff when I get some more brake, or I mean, carb cleaner. I'll need that to take that gunk off. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you want more. I'm out. See ya.